no weapon is perfect, and this rifle is certainly no exception. It lacks the volume of fire and stopping power to make it reliable on higher difficulties, which is only worsened by its subpar accuracy. The Amcar is certainly not a game-changing weapon, but even a bad weapon in the right hands can make all the difference. While the Amcar rifle does bear striking resemblance to the M4 carbine, it is actually based on the Colt 727 and 733 carbines. These rifles both initially have their roots in the AR-15 platform, and the United States Department of Defense attempted to develop it into a modular system, allowing for different variants to be used for specialized roles such as sustained fire in the case of the 606, or as a survival rifle in the 177. While these rifles never gained as much traction as the M16, they did pave the way for more modern incarnations like the M4, and the project is partially responsible for the versatility we see in the AR-15 platform today. In-game, the Amcar is the first primary weapon provided, and while it will get your foot in the door, its usefulness wanes substantially as the challenge increases. Though it certainly is a usable weapon, there are plenty of more viable alternatives available early on in the game, such as the AK or CAR-4 rifles. The Amcar is a low damage assault rifle, coming in at 36 by default, and just shy of the 40 damage breakpoint you'll want for fighting enemies on overkill. With a few mods and the Fast and Furious perk card, you'll be able to push this up slightly, marginally improving its stopping power. It is competent at killing rank and file police, especially on lower difficulties, but special units will ultimately soak up far too much ammunition. Remember to aim for the head and stick to medium range or closer to ensure you hit your mark, as you will need a lot of lead to bring most enemies down. One of the biggest problems with the Amcar is its pathetic rate of fire, slower than even the AK-762s at just 545 rounds per minute. This severely limits its damage per second and further exacerbates its low stopping power. The overall low DPS can put you in some very unpleasant situations. In many cases, cloakers even at medium ranges will be able to close the gap and down you before enough damage has been dealt to stun or kill them. One of the few upsides to using this weapon is its high base stability of 76, which is higher in fact than any other assault rifle out of the box. This at least means your aim won't be spoiled by recoil and will let you focus on scoring hits rather than compensating for kick. You can leverage the low recoil of the Amcar by using sustained fire, as you'll be able to fire in much longer bursts than any other weapon. This is very important to use as you'll need to be constantly pouring lead on target in order to score kills. While this weapon has in control ability, it squanders in accuracy, having the lowest base accuracy of all rifles at just 36. By default this weapon will struggle to hit targets even out to mid-range, and increasing this should be your primary focus when selecting mods and skills. With some upgrading, it will become accurate enough for use in mid-range firefights, but it can still be difficult to consistently score headshots. This problem becomes more serious when you begin fighting TAN FBI in greater numbers, as headshots are almost a necessity to effectively counter them. Probably the biggest perk of using the Amcar is its massive ammo pool of 220 rounds by default, or 275 with fully loaded. The additional ammo makes this weapon very forgiving for those who tend to run and gun, or just have poor accuracy. Pairing this with the Muscle Perk deck allows the Amcar to provide excellent suppressing fire while still having plenty of ammo to spare. The added ammo also works in your favor if you take weapons that can't replenish ammo normally, or do so very slowly, such as the Saw, RPG, or High Damage SMGs. While assault rifles can generally accommodate a variety of builds, I wanted to center mine on being straightforward and easy for newer players, providing a balance of offensive and defensive capabilities. As for weapon mods, we'll start off with the Fire Breather Nozzle, providing us with a healthy boost to stability and damage, and also allows us to break the 40 damage threshold, assuming you have Fast and Furious. Since the Amcar sorely lacks in accuracy, I would suggest equipping the Accuracy Boost if you have one available. For the gadget, the LED combo will provide the biggest boost to stability, but is a bit unnecessary considering you can easily max this out without using this mod. 
The addition of a laser, however, can make hip firing much more accurate. Your choice of magazine will largely come down to preference. You can sacrifice some accuracy for 30 extra rounds with the quad stack mag, or go with the more conservative options that will not negatively impact your precision. Optical attachments are again largely preference based. However, I would recommend using a sight that is effective at close to medium ranges, as the weapon will not perform well using a longer range optic. Finally, the stock choice is fairly simple. The War Torn stock gives the weapon a substantial bump in accuracy while reducing stability marginally. Your role in the crew will not just consist of providing covering fire for advances, but also soaking up damage from enemies without needing to retreat. As such, the Muscle Perk deck will fit this role perfectly, providing you not only with increased health and passive healing, but the ability to make enemies panic while firing your weapon. I would say opting for specializing in ammunition for your equipment would be the best option as it pairs very well with the muscle's suppression capabilities. Dropping an ammo bag and unleashing a bullet storm can be a quick way to keep heads down and allow your crew to advance through the mission. However, dock bags are a worthwhile substitute considering the Amcar does have plentiful ammunition. Grabbing Duck and Cover, Second Wind, and Parkour Aced from the Ghost Tree will also add a lot to your mobility and allow you to keep offensive pressure on the enemy or hasten an escape. Iron Man and Shock and Awe Aced will also greatly improve your ability to absorb damage, plus the ability to stun shields is a nice comfort, especially when defending a fixed position. Finally, grabbing all the more aggressive assault rifle skills from the Technician Tree like Surefire and Lock and Load, as well as the aggressive reload skill and high value target from the Mastermind Tree will greatly improve your effectiveness with the Amcar. You may also consider taking Body Expertise if you can spare the points, but avoid acing it as the math behind the aced version can actually make your weapon less effective. The Amcar is a weapon of few advantages having one of the largest ammo pools and the highest base stability out of all the assault rifles. You'll need to leverage these to make the most out of this weapon, as its poor accuracy, low damage, and sluggish fire rate will drastically diminish your combat potential. Overall, the Amcar may not be the best assault rifle to take into battle, but it's hard to argue with free. Thank you very much for watching, join me next time when we take a look at the Akimbo Shimano Compacts. Until then, Farewell.